Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon and Peaches. He's over here and we are bringing you guys the Weekly Soul Connection reading. The Weekly Soul Connection reading is one that my viewers have asked me to bring back. So for those of you that are interested in kind of taking a look at what's going on in your Soul Connection, you know, for whatever week you happen to run across this video, um, this reading is for you. I know a lot of my viewers are not really into the whole love thing right now or just focused on another person, which is totally fine too. But I have a variety of people that watch my channel and so I just want to make sure that everyone's getting what they need here on my channel. So anyways, um, all these decks as well as this Organite will be listed down below. The reason that we are doing this kind of like a long way view is because I'm also going to be posting this on my IGTV and you can only post things in this view and it's only going to be about 10 minutes. But hey, short and snappy seems to be some of you guys really appreciating that shorter time because we don't always have time to like really sit in and listen to an hour worth long of messages. So let's get into it. So these soul connection readings that I do, um, a lot of the energies come through for people that are experiencing separations or challenges. So keep that in mind. But again, as usual, take what resonates for you. So let's go ahead and see where you, the viewer are at at this particular time. What does your energy look like? Okay. So this is my depths of the sea Oracle. We have you in the sailboat energy, stay the course, okay? So some of you guys are on a particular course right now, and this is Spirit's way of saying, keep moving forward. Don't let anything hold you back. Don't let anything stand in your way. Let's go ahead and get your thoughts from your higher self. We have Divine Feminine Confessions by Bridget Rao, Divine Essentials. It says, all my friends and family tell me I'm crazy for still thinking about you and to just move on already. I would if I were, or if it were that easy. Okay, so this is the deal. So some of you guys are experiencing your friends and your family, just the people that are around you to tell that they're telling you to just forget about this person. And it's not to say that you should or shouldn't, but keep moving forward with what feels right for you. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what other people think. You know, it's really just about you and what you feel is right for you. So that's kind of where you guys are at right now, if that resonates. So let's take a look and see where is your person at at this particular time what does their energy look like let's look at that this is my twin plum journey tarot Okay, so we have the King of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, but this is emotional mastery. It looks like your person is working on themselves. They are, um, you know, working on mastering their emotions, maybe being a little bit more mature in that department. And sometimes that takes time. And that might be one of the reasons that maybe you and your person have experienced either a separation or challenge. But just know that they are working on themselves and they could be working on, on themselves in ways that don't make sense to you. But remember, stay the course and just continue to have faith and what you feel is right for you. Let's go ahead and get their higher self messages or thoughts about you at this time. This right here is called What He Didn't Say by Rising Sun Oracle. Okay, I am lost and lonely. You are not wrong to feel this energy emanating from me. So this is the deal. You guys kind of know what your person's going through right now. They're feeling lost and lonely and they're trying to mature emotionally. So some of them might not be mature emotionally right now. So certain things are happening right now in order to facilitate that growth. So continue to move forward with your life. I feel like that's really what this card is saying here. Don't wait on this person to mature. We definitely don't want to put our lives on hold for anybody, um, but just continue to do you. This person's either going to level up or they're not. But as long as you keep moving forward, nothing is lost. Okay, that's a beautiful message. Let's see where your person might be stuck right now with some of that emotional maturing that needs to happen. This is called the Denied Shadow Oracle by Four of Wands Tarot. We have gesture. Someone wants to express themselves romantically. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here. They may be um, actually learning from other situations around them. So this isn't to alarm you guys to say that they're romantically connected with someone else. But if some of you guys already know this, or maybe this person is single right now, it does look to me like the gestures of other people, you know, coming in and out of their lives, this experience that they're going to be having with other people is actually going to be a part of their emotional maturing. So we don't need to sit around worrying about this or freaking out about this if this is happening because this is facilitating your person's growth. So any karmic partners that might be present in their life, they're there for a good reason to facilitate this growth. It's all in the way that you guys look at it is what I'm seeing here, okay? So let's see some of these gestures here. Six of Cups. 
could be this past energy here, okay? That's what the Six of Cups is all about. It's childhood. It is also people from the past. So I feel like maybe somebody from your person's past could be something that they're like having to work through or someone from their past is trying to return. This is like closure, but I'm getting a lot of childhood energy. Your person has maybe a lot of childhood issues or traumas and they're trying to um, emotionally heal and also mature. And so that we can move past this childish energy. Energy. So other people are going to help facilitate your person's growth. Please know that. Okay, let's go ahead and get their confession to you. This is called Confessions of a Runner by Angelic Revelation 144. I am focused on my career at this time. I didn't expect to meet you, right person, wrong time. So this is telling me here that your person, even though um, they felt something for you and you guys had a connection, obviously, or you wouldn't be watching this reading, this is telling you, I didn't expect to meet you at, at this particular time. I'm not ready. I'm focused on other things. I'm also perhaps focused on my career. And so that could be a little bit of the emotional immaturity as in your person was not ready to have this emotional experience with you. So while they're lost, maybe even a little bit lonely, you're not wrong for feeling this weird energy coming from them. Know that they're focused on other things and a part of their maturing process is going to come from the other experiences that they're going to have on this journey. So remember, continue to stay the course on your own journey. So now we're going to go ahead and get some messages from spirit. Okay. This is my twin flame angel numbers. What messages from spirit do we need to know? 1313. 13. I really like this. I feel like this came out the other day in a reading, but it says earth angels are surrounding you as you face a challenging time in your connection. Do you know where earth angels are, you guys? Other people on our journey that are going to be there to help us to ascend, to heal, to grow. I do feel like there's someone in not only your path, but also your person's path to help you to heal. And if that means that it's going to be through these gestures, okay, people wanting to participate with us or just connect with us in some sort of way on our journey, whether it's romantic or otherwise, this is going to help us face our challenges, face our childhood traumas, just face things that just need to be healed that are no longer serving us. So accept either gestures around you or accept that your person is maybe needing to participate with other people at this time in order to heal and to ascend to the next level so they can emotionally master themselves. Not all karmic people or karmic lessons are necessarily, um, we don't need to villainize them. I'm getting that. We don't need to villainize these people. These people are actually here for a good reason. So help yourself by maybe disconnecting from some of that drama or focusing on it and stay your own course because this is going to help you to experience more peace and tranquility on your own journey. Your person will either find them way back, their way back to you or they won't. But either way, nothing will be lost on your part. We're going to get one last message. This is called A Divine Transformation by Angelic Revelation 1. 44. Let's get a message here. We have protection. God and your angels are watching over you. Look at this, you guys. We have these guardian earth angels here. We now have God and your angels. So not only do you have people here on earth, your friends, your family, and this totally makes sense to me now. Okay. It really does. It says, all my friends and family tell me I'm crazy for still thinking about you. It's not to say that you're crazy and it's not to say that your friends and family are right, but the thing is, you guys, take the time to kind of pull yourself out of any irrational thinking and realize that God, your angels, your earth angels, your family and friends are here to help you on your journey. They can't do the work for you and it doesn't mean that they're completely 100% like, you know, right, as in you have to do it this way or it's going to be a failure. No, you have to find your own way, of course. But take it all with a grain of salt and try to figure out what's best for you. Does it feel right for you to continue to hang on to this person? Does it feel right for you to continue to invest? Are you investing in yourself? Are you avoiding doing the work on yourself because it's easier to focus on a fantasy? That's not to say this is a fantasy. This is not to say that this is something that cannot work out. But what this is telling you is that you're being protected perhaps right now because your person isn't ready and maybe you aren't as ready as you think you are either. So sometimes these messages are hard to hear, but this is to help to kind of realign you on your path right now to help you to reach your highest potential in this life and to be the best version of yourself with or without this person. Anyways, you guys, I hope that you enjoy those short messages. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. Bye-bye.